Hey folks, Matthew with Fleet Talk. Recently we made a video making fun of site trunking, but we want to come back and talk about site trunking and tell you why we as Fleet Talk don't do site trunking. But before we can say why we don't, we need to explain what site trunking is. Every multi-site network, whether it's cellular networks, whether it's radio system, whatever it is, has to have a way to connect those tower sites back to the other tower sites or a core controller, processor, whatever. Many organizations use what used to be called T1s, and now a lot of it is fiber optic connections for that backhaul. So when it comes to fiber optic connections or anything that's in the ground or aerial on telephone poles, you can't control that. We can't control backhoes, post hole diggers, uh, cable boring. You can't control when an accident happens and takes a telephone pole down. You can't control those things. And all of those things affect wide area networks when those networks rely on those cable connections between tower sites and controllers. We here at Fleet Talk have chosen a different path. We don't use site trunking and I'm gonna explain why. Here at Fleet Talk, we subscribe to the PACE acronym when it comes to network reliability. PACE stands for primary, alternate, contingency, and emergency. And what we do is we use microwave connections for our primary and our alternate, con our alternate paths. Primary being a microwave path that looks one direction in the network, our alternate looks the other. And our, ideas behind, our idea is that if we lose one network link, it's gonna find its way back to the other side. So for our contingency, we utilize a cellular modem that is one side has carrier A, the other side has carrier B. So again, we're maintaining that network reliability. And then for our emergency, we use whatever lease line, fiber, internet, or Starlink that is available to keep that site connected in wide area. If we lose all four of our contingency plans, we want the site to go offline because we've built in enough overlapping coverage that it will help overcome the coverage loss of that one tower site. And the reason for that is, is we don't want a user to be connected to a tower site that can't communicate with anybody else. Imagine being the only user that's connected to that tower site, thinking that you're talking to everybody else only to realize you're not talking to anybody. We would rather that site go offline and then have the ability for your radio to roam onto the adjacent sites to have that wide area communication. During one of the largest disasters of our recent years, Hurricane Helene, the fleet talk system stayed wide area, meaning the sites were talking to each other and communicating with each other during this massive storm. And that's because we subscribed to the PACE plan. Everybody was affected in some way, shape, form, or fashion, but because of our hard work and because of the way we view site trunking, our system stayed wide area. If you have questions, please reach out to us at fleettalkbyrock.com or call our office. 